come on me Leave all of your things, yeah We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamila, but I go by Mauve. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back to my channel, y'all. Y'all know how much this channel means to me. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers, y'all. 4K? Or what? But no, seriously, I really, I'm grateful for all of y'all for like continuing to like support and like build this channel up. Y'all know this has been like my dream for a long time. Um, but let's get right to it. Y'all know what I'm sitting in front of this vanity. When y'all see this background, is when i'm doing um like a sit down video like a chit chat video um and i'm actually about to go out so it's going to be like a chit chat get ready with me i just kind of want to curl my hair a little bit um at like my basic like eyebrows and eyelashes and um hit the road because you know your girl don't do all that okay i don't get into doing a lot of things um, I just do like the basics, not saying that I want one day because I do aspire to like beat my face and like, you know, dress in heels and all that stuff. Um, you know, the life of luxury. And speaking of luxury, okay, because I kind of want to do these get ready with me's like with my hair, the little bit of makeup that I'm doing, what I'm wearing and then what I'm wearing like scent wise. And y'all know that I love me some luxury inspired fragrances without the luxury price. So of course your girl has some dossier to run by y'all today. In case you've never heard of dossier, dossier is a luxury fragrance inspired brand. Um, so you get all the scents that you want, all those luxury inspired scents without the luxury inspired price tag, okay? Because I know that we're all balling on a budget. There are so many designer fragrances that you can choose from. Um, one of my personal favorites is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I love Daisy by Marc Jacobs, but sometimes the price point can be a little bit too much. So I opt to go with Floral Violet and that's from Dossier. One of my favorites. And when I tell y'all that the scent, you really cannot tell the difference in the scent. Like it's not a body mist. It's not a body spray. It's not like one of those little like toilet things. It's like a real perfume like and the scent is so long lasting like it'll literally last all day another one of my favorites is um ambery saffron that is inspired by uh baccarat 540 if i'm not mistaken and girl i got so many compliments on that like they probably thought i was wearing baccarat but girl notice <laughs> ain't nothing but a little dossier <laughs> like the scents are spot on like i have smelled baccarat um and i have ambery saffron and like i really cannot tell the difference the only difference is the price okay the price is i'm telling you it it goes down i'm also looking forward to trying uh these new scents that dossier sent me this month and this one is floral honeysuckle and i believe that this one is inspired by gucci bloom so i'm looking forward to trying that um and then the other is fruity jasmine and that's inspired by dior's j'adore y'all know y'all seen that commercial so i'm looking forward to trying both of them i haven't opened them yet i haven't used them yet so we'll see what it's hitting for once we see what it's hitting for but i'm sure it's just it's everything i mean dossier does not miss they have not missed. So if you want to try Dossier, your girl has a discount code in the bio. I'm always coming with the coin off, okay? Um, hit that link down below. It's gonna be under Dossier discount link. Um, you can't miss it down there in the description. And let me know if you try any. Let me know if you have tried some already, what your favorite scents are. Um, they're always coming out with new uh, fragrances too. So like if one of your favorite luxury designer scents or whatever is like out of reach for you, Dossier is like always upping like their inventory too so like you can go in there and possibly find your favorite so let's get into this video because it's like it's already late and i already don't feel like doing this but like it is what it is i'm just gonna section off my hair like just in two sections because i'm not doing like a whole bunch of little curls it's just gonna be like kind of it's kind of giving waves a little bit um not waves but like curls big curls i'm not doing like anything super intricate because i'm not going anywhere that's like super crazy um but something i thought would be fun for this get ready with me was to answer some questions and i found some questions on pinterest they're like deep questions about yourself i don't consider them to be very deep but um yeah they're like interesting questions and i kind of shuffled a couple of them i picked out 10 of them i think i may have put in like 20 of them um 
and I put them in like a random draw and like 10 of them came out. So these are the 10 that were chosen for me. Um, so I'm just sectioning my hair off into two and then I'm just sectioning it off again into two. So pretty much like four sections of my hair. I just work on one section at a time. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine. It just keeps like my hair from looking really frizzy. Um, it doesn't add a lot of oil to it either. It kind of makes it softer in my opinion too. I don't use a lot. Like I'll just use one pump in between these two sections and that's, that's all I need. I don't need any more than that. Um, and I have my handy dandy trusty dusty iPad here and I wrote the questions down because like I said they came out of like a raffle wheel so I just like wrote them down as they came out um so without further ado let's get ready with me so question number one is what brings you the most joy in life and um I would have to say my daughter brings me a lot of joy like she's just I'll say this I never thought that like I would have a baby like her I, call, I still call her a baby but um I never thought I would have a baby like her because of like how I was becoming a mother like I was a single mother while I was pregnant um and I didn't really see my way clear in that like it was a very depressing and like emotional um time in my life and I didn't really know what kind of mother I was going to be and like mothering her by myself so like it was kind of like I said I couldn't really get my footing on it so um having her like just come out and be like this really bubbly fun funny like she has a really big sense of humor like she is funny like I find myself laughing at my daughter all the time just like little weird stuff that she's saying I'm just like how do you even know that or like where did it even come from? Like, she still surprises me. Like, I'm used to her. I'm used to how she talks, but, like, she still surprises me a lot with what she says. So, like, she's just it for me. Um, other than her, because she's, like, the only human being. Like, besides my daughter and, like, my boyfriend, I don't really like people. I mean, <laughs> of course you love your family, you know. But, like, I don't really have, like, many friends. I don't, like socialize much and like I'm not saying that that's something that I feel like I need to do I mean sometimes I feel like I wish I had like more friends or just more people to talk to when I'm like when I feel like I need to talk but like people know my work like me my YouTube channel brings me so much joy like y'all know how happy I am when I be getting on here like my work my um photography my videography my blog like my hobbies they bring me a lot of joy too what dumb thing did you believe for a long time um, that uh, if you show people love, they would show you love back? <laughs> that was stupid. Um, Cause I wasn't really like, I never believed in like the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus and stuff like that. Um, I feel like I always believed that like, if you were a good person, good things would like happen to you. And that's not always the case either. Um, like a lot of life lessons I learned um, that I used to believe in, like just things that you would think would be like common sense or like, you know, oh, well, I'm, I'm not a bad person, so bad things wouldn't happen to me, you know? That ain't how life, that's not how life goes. But, you know, I, you live and you learn and like, I've learned so much from unlearning so much, you feel me? So the next question is, What's the most pain you've been in that wasn't physical? I should have read these questions first. <laughs> I needed a one up. Like I did read them as I was writing them, but like I didn't really like go over them. Maybe it's good that I didn't like go over them and answer them because y'all are getting like real and raw right now. Um, and I didn't have like a chance to think about answers, but something that brought me the most pain that wasn't physical. Probably, and I still have this pain like to this day. Um, it's just like single mom woes. Like I, um, my daughter having to like grow up and ask me, you know, that dreaded question, like, you know, 
where's my dad, who's my dad, why isn't my dad around kind of situation. Um, that brings me a lot of pain because I don't know, you know, exactly how to, um, like, explain that to her or express that to her, you know. Um, I, I don't know. That brings me pain because only because I don't, like, I don't know the answer yet. Once I know a good way of answering her or just, like, like a way that she would understand like I know I'll be good but like I know she'll have a ton of questions about that like she's going to school next year she's gonna see like a lot of like moms dropping their babies off or she might even see a lot of dads dropping their babies off and she might wonder why her dad isn't dropping her off or like she's never asked me now like my daughter is very smart she's very intelligent um she hasn't asked me now and I'm kind of surprised that she hasn't so like I feel like I get anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis like thinking like okay okay today today is the day it's today she's gonna ask me today what is a childhood dream you never got to accomplish um the only childhood dream i never got to accomplish that i probably well that i can't accomplish anymore is like to be a child star um i wanted to be like i wanted to be an actress when i was younger um a lot of people thought that i wanted to be like a singer because i you know i know i guess i know how to sing y'all i don't know a lot of people like my voice, I'll put it that way. Um, I sang a lot growing up, like in church. I sang for like my high school and middle school graduations. I was always like put up to do those things. I never volunteered as tribute ever. Um, I was just like made to sing because I knew how. I, that kind of made me not want to be a singer. I always wanted to be like an actress. So like I did musical theater for a little while for a little while but um the only thing I can't accomplish right now is being like a child star like I kind of wanted to be in like what was those magazines that we used to get from like the Scholastic Book Fair um that had like all the high school musical casts and stuff like that in there and like I just I kind of wanted to be like Disney star-ish um growing up like I kind of wanted to be famous as a child and then grow into like a famous actress but um if I wanted to act today I still would or I still could so the next question is when you think of your childhood what tv shows come to mind I what tv shows don't come to mind something that I used to watch a lot in my childhood um I was just talking about it yesterday I think with my boyfriend I used to watch One Tree Hill a lot I used to watch WWE um WWF okay um a lot I used to watch Daria a lot um, as far as like cartoons, Proud Family, Daria, um, I used to watch, oh, that's hot. Um, I used to watch the OC. I used to watch, uh, Hell Date. Y'all remember Hell Date? Um, I used to love watching Hell Date. That little person used to come out with a devil costume on and crack me up. But um, what are some other things? Cause now it's like I'm drawing a blank. But um, I watched so much as a child. Like TV was like my thing. I used to watch a lot of movies also. Um, I was into like horror movies a lot in my childhood. Y'all don't ask me why I was allowed to watch those things. Cause, <laughs> but I'm grateful I was because like I love horror movies. Goosebumps, I used to watch Goosebumps as a child. Of course, all the classics like Moesha, um sister sister i used to love watching those i actually used to watch like martin and living single and stuff like that when i was younger i still watch that to this day like if you know me or follow me on social media and if you're not following me on instagram follow me at more of mom <laughs> it never gets old but um i still watch living single every single day like there's not a day that goes by that i haven't watched an episode or five or ten of living single like it's just my comfort TV is like old 90 sitcoms or like just classic, you know, sitcoms. I love them. Like I just, it was just such a simpler time. And like, I feel like we're all, well, I'm about to be 30 this year. So we're all like looking for some kind of like simplicity, I guess. And like watching Living Single, it's just, it just does that for me. Like I just think of simpler times. I think of like, real friendship real strong black friendship and like the things that they would go through the funny things like the hurtful things like how they were always there for each other um you don't see that a lot in tv nowadays like it's just so bogged down with like <sighs> dumb stuff y'all like y'all y'all know what's out on tv nowadays 
and a whole bunch of stupid Tyler Perry TV shows. Like, <laughs> spare me. I mean, nothing against Tyler Perry. I did used to watch a lot of Tyler Perry plays um, growing up too. So maybe that's something I should put on the list. My mom used to love those. My uncle used to love them too, but yeah, I'm I'm more of like a comfort TV show girl now. Um, I was back then and I still am now. So the next question is, who have you hurt the most? What did you do to them? Um, and I didn't, when I saw the question, I was just like, I didn't want to take it back because like I had did it on a roulette wheel like for a reason because like I didn't want to like hand pick the questions. I kind of wanted them to be a little random. Um, but thinking about it now, I don't hurt people. Like I'm not perfect, but I don't intentionally hurt people. Um, and I know it didn't say intentionally, but like you don't like all the time just like accidentally hurt somebody either. Like it's an accident. It's not something that happens all the time. But I would honestly just say myself. Um, I hurt myself a lot. I put myself through a lot, especially like growing like from a teenager into a woman and now like being a woman into like a, still a woman, but like still growing every day, like learning every day. I hurt myself a lot. Um, like I apologize to myself a lot, even though I've gone through like a whole like change in my life. I hate when that happens. Even though I've gone through a change in my life that I literally thank myself for every day, um, I still apologize to myself. I've forgiven myself, I think for the most part, for like the decisions that I've made, the people that I continue to let, you know, into my life, the decisions I didn't make sooner, like all those things that you do in life when you're not really like thinking the right way or guided the right way. Like I've already forgiven myself for things like that. But um, I hurt myself by just not standing up for myself and not looking out for myself. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to that um, because like we're not always putting ourselves first. Like it's easier to say that we're doing that. But like in hindsight, did you were you really putting yourself first or were you like just saying like, oh, this is what I want. I'm going to do what I want. You know, I feel like I did that a lot. And I called that like standing up for myself or I called that just like I don't know just getting what I wanted out of life but like it really wasn't what I wanted at all it wasn't what I wanted or what I needed so I would say that I hurt myself the most but I'm like healing the f out of myself right now like I'm not by any means perfect but I've come a long way and I'm not going back to that at all like I'm standing up for myself is something I really have no choice but to do I have to and sometimes it's not easy to do that sometimes I still do feel like a little intimidation because I was like extremely intimidated before I used to not say how I felt all the time contrary to what other people may believe um but yeah I was like kind of quiet and like not saying how I felt but now it's like you can't really put a muzzle on me if I feel like I'm something's being done like that's wrong I'm gonna say it or I'm gonna like I'm gonna speak up about it like I have no choice so okay so I did fast forward just a little bit I was on the phone with my boyfriend for a couple minutes but I did continue to curl my hair because I ain't got time to be stopping okay um but the next question is what's your baggage I don't come with a lot of baggage, y'all. Now, I'm not perfect. I say it all the time. I'm not perfect by any means. But um, I don't come with a lot of baggage. I guess people consider baggage to be... I mean, I guess I'm a single mom. So, like, bag... If, if, are your children considered baggage? I would say, like, she's not baggage. She's an addition, okay? Like, she just comes with me. And she's bomb AF, just like her mom. So, like, there is no baggage about her. Like, she's just you know you get two for the price of one um but I would say like I do have like some emotional baggage trust issues just like everybody else um I don't I try not to let that be like an issue like in my current relationship I trust him completely like I try to do the whole like you're guilty until you show I mean you're innocent until you prove that you're guilty you know like I can't go into every situation like oh I was hurt before so I don't trust you you know like I try not to be super naive about things I don't know if it works all the time but like 
I just, I don't, I can't go into things like already not trusting people because it's just like, I have to give that person the same energy that I was giving the person that hurt me, you know? Like I can't give them the short end of the stick because I've been hurt because we've all been hurt. Like, have we not? So I guess just like emotional baggage or emotional issues, trust issues that um, are like kind of underlying. Sometimes they do come out because I'm human. But um, other than that, I don't really come with like baggage. So the next question is, when you lay in bed at night, what do you think about? Girl, what don't I think about? I am an overthinker by like nature. Like I can't help myself. So like I, when I lay in the bed at night, more than likely I'm thinking like about like my future and like where I see myself going, what I need to do to get there, those kind of thoughts. Like, and sometimes they're like kind of toxic, especially when you're trying to go to sleep. Cause like, girl, why are you thinking about like, you're supposed to be trying to put yourself to sleep, rest your mind, like rest all those high traffic, like scenarios and thoughts that you've been having all day while you were awake. Um, but like, I think about a lot about my future. I swear I'd be like trying to change my future as a, as the thoughts go by. And that's kind of like, that's weird. Okay, that's suspicious because nobody can do that. But I will still try to do it. Um, I like try to will stuff into happening. So like, I spend a lot of time thinking about like my career choices and, you know, how I am as a mother. Um, if my boyfriend's happy, if I'm doing a good job with like, you know, caring for his heart is he doing a good job with caring for mine goes both ways so it's just like um i overthink okay i'm an overthinker i there's nothing that i don't think about i am trying to do better with that though because like nobody wants to like give themselves a headache i will think so far ahead that like my head will be like pounding and that's not okay that's not healthy it's not like it's not something i should be doing it's like something that i can't really help at times but like something that I'm going to get help for because moving on, like moving forward, I don't want to have to like, I don't want to be like in bed thinking about stuff that like I can't change or like being upset about things that I can't change either. You know what I mean? So, all right. So I usually like let my hair sit for a little bit um, with the curls in it and then I'll go and like fluff it out and like feather it and stuff like that. But while we're waiting, so I don't have my fave uh, mascara handy. I don't know where it is and I don't feel like looking for it. Um, but I'm using the Bambi Oversized Eye by L'Oreal. I like L'Oreal mascara a lot. Um, I use telescopic for years. And when I say years, I mean like years, years. Um, and I got that from Carly Bible. Yeah, I got that from her. She used to use it a lot back in the day, you know. Um, but I still use it to this day. Like I know I have some somewhere, but I just don't feel like getting up and looking for it. So it's given Bambi oversized eyes. Um, but let's get back into these questions because I only have two questions left. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would you, where would it be? Um, I know it wouldn't be here because like I literally hate Philly now. Like I don't like staying in Philly. If you didn't know, I was born, raised, and still currently live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I despise living here. It's just like, it's just so mundane. I'm just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the same old thing. I feel like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Like, I just feel like there's just so much more out there for me to see. And like, I ain't seen it yet. And I'm tired of not seeing it. And like, I'm tired of seeing the same old things. And like, um, I just want to, I want to live somewhere else. Like, I want to be around new people new surroundings less like i know there's crime everywhere but like philly crime sometimes it's just like so depressing and like so weird and like unnecessary and like i just can't get with it so like if i weren't to if i weren't living in philly or if i had to live in philly i would probably move like to like the center city area because i really do love it down there it's really artsy farty down there um the houses are nice and big and like better down there it's really expensive to live down there probably because of that reason um the neighborhoods are better and like the houses are more you know they're nicer and they're more expensive and 
it kind of gives you like New York City brownstone vibes in some of the neighborhoods down there. So, um, I would live down there if I were to stay in Philly or like maybe the surrounding areas, like just the outskirts, some parts of like PA, not necessarily Philadelphia. Um, but if I was moving out of Philadelphia, I really don't know where I would want to live. I would probably, I mean, I'm based off of like what I've seen on the internet because I've traveled, yes, but like. I don't know. The only place I would say I would live out of the country is like Dominican Republic. I love the, the I loved it when we went there for my sister's wedding. Did y'all see that vlog? I'm going to link that vlog below because that was like such a fun trip. I really loved it out there. The food was good. The people were good. Like it was just a great vibe um, while we were out there. So I really loved that. Um, but that's like the only place I would like spend a significant amount of time out of the country. I have been out of the country before. Um, I would love to actually go to like Europe and spend some time there too, just because I've been like really inspired by Europe and like my content or just like my creativity growing up, I've always wanted to travel there. So like I'll maybe would spend some time there, but like to settle, I don't really know. Um, I've seen some really beautiful houses in like Texas and Atlanta, but like those places are like run down and run over too. So I don't really know. Only thing I would be looking forward to is being out of Philly. So I'm back and I'm more ready. Okay, so I just literally have on some black tights, this um, like natural like camel color teddy shirt. It's really cute. I got it from Primark, it was like 10, $15. Um, it comes with like snaps on it um, and I just have like a t-shirt underneath um, some black tights some black boots my black will tell far bag and that's what it's given for the night um, and for my lips I'm just going to wear this Neutrogena Hydro Boost and it's in the color um, soft blush I'm just gonna blend that in Cause it is like a little pale but it gives my lips like a nice little like nudish kind of like natural glossy color what is that uh... so i'm gonna go ahead and spray my dossier my favorite which is fruity um not fruity floral violet which is the mark jacobs i really don't need this much like it really lasts all night And the last question before I end this video is, would you rather win the lottery or work the perfect job and why? Um, so I feel like y'all already know what my answer is and it's gonna be win the lottery. Um, I don't like to work unless I'm working for myself. Um, unless that perfect job were to be like making the money I would want to make, like making my own content or like owning my own business or something like that then yeah i could go with that answer but for right now i'm gonna just stick with the lottery so that i can have like the money i need and want to like dedicate to my content dedicate to like you know like just having a studio space for photography or videography or like being able to like i don't know like put my blog out there more whatever that needs um or whatever i need for that or just to be able to be comfortable with like paying bills and like taking care of like a home and like a car and like making sure that Noni has like the best school in somewhere. Like that is really what I aspire to. Um, the most is just, like being comfortable or not even comfortable, honestly, because I do ha like aspire to like live in luxury just like anybody else. Like I would love to have like, not like a crazy luxurious lifestyle because I don't even think I could keep up with that. I'm a very simple girl. Um, but like i want to be able to afford certain things or just do certain things um with her for myself and like not be like dang i'm gonna have to come up with the way to pay this bill by tomorrow like i don't want to have to feel like that um so i would love to be like comfortable be comfortable and also be able to like live out my dreams and i feel like the lottery would definitely do that for me so like why wouldn't I? And I could put, like, I could help so many people win the lottery. Like, I could put so many people on. I could help them start their own businesses. Or I could help them, like, you know, like, be all they want to be. So, like, I would definitely opt for the lottery. And then I'll just make my dream job by winning the lottery. I'll just solidify that, you know, win the lottery. 
So y'all, thank you so much for tuning into this quick little, I hope it was quick, um, get ready with me chat. Um, it's not the first, it's definitely not the last because I really do enjoy these videos and I enjoy answering questions like this because you're able to like get to know me and my thought process and like what I would do in certain situations or just get to know like my backstory a little bit, some of my shames, some of my weaknesses, some of my strengths because your girl is strong, okay? I'm not the strongest, but I am strong. Um, but thanks for tuning into this video. Remember to like, comment, and make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all heard me say I was almost at 4,000 subscribers. I need 4,000. I need 5,000. I need 400,000, okay? We're claiming that today and every day, okay? But make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, definitely tell me if you tried Dossier before or if you have any of their scents, if you want to get any of their scents. Tell me your favorite uh, scent and we'll talk about it in the comments, okay? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.